Every morning before I let the sheep out, a few crows gather on the overhead lines, waiting to clean up the food that these ladies have spilt. Come on, ladies. Come on here, Feather. You're leading the way today, are you? We've got a little bit of touch of scald as well. Come on, ladies. Are you going to go? I'm very much enjoying these daily walks, the yos, allowing them to graze in here a little bit and then let them out into the main field. How are you? You good girl. Come on. Coming over a head scratch. You want a head scratch? Yes. You good girl. Oh, yes. You want a head scratch, too. Head scratches. Head scratches requested and given. This is one of the old ladies of the group. You're not so old, are you? Neither are you, but you're getting to be one of the old group. Hello, you. Oh, you've got a thingy in your eye. There you go. Go on. And who's last? A little bit. Tr trotting down the hill. Woo! With a bit of a wobble. Come on, little bit. Come on. Out a girl. Out you go. Oh, there's either going to be lambing today or lambing tonight. The udders are getting very taut. Well, hers isn't quite as taut as I thought it was. Soon. It's all going to happen soon. I'd say there might well be an avalanche of lambs when it when they decide to start popping.
officially, officially, they're supposed to start lambing tomorrow because that's the date when the ram went in with them. But as with the single earlier, they can lamb before their official date. Luckily, I'm getting help. My friend Susan, who many of you know, is coming tomorrow and she will help with the night duty. As in, she will go out and check if anything's happening. If nothing's happening, she says nothing. If something's happening, she then gives me a call and says, oh, somebody's lambing or something's happening. So then I can have a full night's sleep again. Yay! 